in this tutorial i will show how to display data from two table in grid using link you to sql engine Previous tutorial was crude operation using link queue C sharp link available in the description box below. In this tutorial, I will show how to display data from two table in grid view using link queue to SQL in C sharp. In that case, first of all, I just added a Windows form with the name purchase info form. Just design it. I just copy paste from the previous tutorial so in this form. Now change the back color of this form yes now this is looking nice change the control and uh, remove the access button product item name is okay now design this one for purchase quantity text box 3 and this one for purchase price and uh, this one for expiry date i will add a new for purchase info in this form so and uh, button text is submit yes now go to the sql server expand the database database was pre-programming tutorial db and this uh, this is the table name product info tab what i have shown you in previous tutorial now i'm gonna create a new tutorial with the a new table with the name purchase info tab column is part i per id this is purchase id this is integer type american entity product id is uh, foreign key this is also integer foreign key references uh, with the product info tables uh, product id column the product id column of product info tab is primary key okay now purchase quantity this is plot type and purchase price also plot plot uh, allow you to use uh, decimal also and total as a purchase quantity into purchase price okay multiplication of quantity and price total now purchase date purchase date data type is date time okay execute yes commands completed successfully replace the table folder yes the purchase info tab also added in the server explorer and programming tutorial db so the heading yes purchase info okay now go to the dbml file this is the programming class dbml i already added now just uh, connect the uh, database programming tutorial db in server explorer with the password yes now expand the table folder and just drag the purchase info tab and drop it in the dbml file link you file okay it's added you can see the product id uh, is the references relation column okay now this is product uh, textbooks one two and textbook three and purchase price in textbook oh this is combo box so change the control copy and paste yes this is textbooks four for price and date figure one for date go to the button click event yes first of all at the reference of programming uh, class data context uh, this is the dbml file data context okay now write code to insert record insert uh, purchase info uh, uh, in button click okay product id textbooks one dot text this is integer type so integer dot first textbooks one dot text and then let's check the record yes uh, so the column columns are purchase quantity purchase quantity is double dot first textbooks 3 textbooks 2 for name so it's not uh, need here okay now purchase price is purchase price from textbox 4 double dot first textbooks 4 because i declared it as float float convert with a double okay purchase date date time dot parse uh, date in picker one dot text okay now db dot purchase input tabs dot insert and submit st db dot submit change Finally, it will display the message after successfully execution of this code. Message will be successfully submitted. Okay. Now I am gonna adding method to load data instantly when I click on the button one submit button. Okay. 
the method is load purchase write code var s equal to from s in db dot purchase info tab product info tab and uh, join it with the purchase info so join o in db dot purchase info tabs on s dot product id equal o dot product id okay now select new s dot product id s dot item name s dot design o dot purchase quantity o dot price and order total finally order purchase date finally grid view on data grid view on dot data source equal to st okay now i call this method in the button click event to load data after clicking the submit button in grid view okay now change the form in program.cs my form name is a purchase info form so yes purchase info form start yes food product id or oh, item name not showing so to display item name write code in the text change event of textbox one where you food product id so this code to show item name uh, based on product id so if text one dot text are not equal to blank then var prod exist first of all it will check the product id exist or not so prod uh, exist equal to from s and db dot product info underscore tab where as dot product id equal to integer dot first text one dot text okay if prod exist dot count i mean if the result exist dot count greater than zero i mean if the record exist in the product product info tab then it will display the item name based on product id so first name equal to from and db dot purchase product info tab where s dot product id equal to integer dot first text one dot text okay select s dot past now text two dot text equal to st name dot item name on your foot product id it will display the or, uh, item name in the tag store if the product id not exist in the database table then uh, it will display the ta text box to not found display the text not found in the tag store okay if product id not exist if tag box one dot text equal to forget then tag box two i mean item name text box also blank see that 10 this is not found and 101 laptop is found 102 monitor 103 disk okay it's working perfectly now i'm gonna insert a record 101 item laptop purchase quantity 2 purchase price is uh, 550 000 date submit yes successfully submitted and the result also displaying the date agreed view instantly okay one more record purchase quantity 5 and date also different yes the both result both record are displaying in the data grid view but when i put 103 and inserting the record it will display the 102 and 103 also 101 and 103 also all the records so if you want to display the specific records so add higher close add higher s dot product id equal to integer dot first text box one dot text now call this method in that text text box one text change event yes okay now debug see now it will display the record based on product id what you put in the product id text box you can see thanks for watching this tutorial